Have you ever scrambled around while on the phone looking for a pen? Give me a second. I'm trying to find a pen. I know I have. What if your phone calls were automatically transcribed live on the call? It's actually really easy to do with Twilio media streams. Let's build a speech transcription bot using Twilio, Google Speech to Text, and Node.js. Now, if you want to skip the step-by-step -step instructions, you can clone my GitHub repository in the description below and follow the README to get set up, but you'll miss all of my fun commentary. Before we can get started, you'll need to make sure to have a few things, a free Twilio account, a Google Cloud account, installed Ngrok, and installed the Twilio CLI. I've dropped all of the links in the description below, so check those out and install them and then come back and watch the rest of this video. First, the architecture. Let's plan this out. I'm going to use Twilio to get a phone number and set it up so that whenever someone calls the number, it will stream that audio to my web server. Now, once I have the audio there, I can send it off to Google to transcribe it into text. For now, let's just show it in the console, but to be honest, we can do pretty much anything we want with it at that point. All right, it's time for you to jump into your favorite code editor and further along. Twilio Media Streams uses the WebSocket API to live stream the audio from the phone call to your application. For WebSocket connections, we will be using WS, a lightweight WebSocket client for Node. To handle HTTP requests, we will use Node's built-in HTTP module and Express. In the terminal, run these commands to install WS and Express in your project folder. Let's bring in the WebSocket and Express libraries and we'll set them up with the HTTP module to create a combined HTTP and WebSocket server. I'm gonna set it up to listen at port 8080. Now we wanna handle WebSocket connections when they're initiated. So we're going to set that up with this line of code. Now we need to modify our server to handle the WebSocket messages that will be sent from Twilio when our phone calls start streaming. There are four main message events we want to listen for. Connected, start, media, and stop. Connected is when Twilio makes a successful web connection to our server. Start is when Twilio starts streaming those media packets. Media is the actual encoded media packets, the raw audio. And stop, when streaming ends, the stop event gets sent out. So we need to modify our index file to log these messages when each of these messages arrive at our server. Back in our code editor, we're going to use the on message event handler to grab the message that comes in from Twilio. Now, this message is a JSON object, so we're going to pass it. And then we can check the event property of this object to figure out what case it is. For now, I'm just going to console log what happens when we are connected. And I'm gonna do the same for the rest of them. Now that our server is ready to receive WebSocket messages, we need to tell Twilio to stream that WebSocket audio to our server. And the way we're going to do that is by a HTTP POST request. So we're gonna set that up right now, and we're going to need to set the content type to XML. This is because we're going to be using Twimmel, Twilio's markup language. You can check it out in the docs, it's pretty cool. But for now, what we want to do is we want to send a response that tells Twilio to start a stream. And this stream needs to go to a URL. And the URL, usually they start with HTTP colon slash slash. We're going to start with WSS, WebSocket. And we're going to use this little handy trick that lets me grab the domain that I'm serving from. Now, because Twilio will end the call if we don't actually play any audio or tell it to do anything else, I'm also going to add a say here and tell it to tell us that it's streaming the next 60 seconds of audio. And then I'm going to pause it for 60 seconds. Now, if you're on a phone call, it would stay streaming for the rest of that phone call. I also got to wrap these in back ticks because it's a string and this looks good. All right, we're going to hook up our Twilio phone number to our server. Now it's really simple to do with the Twilio command line, but you can also buy a phone number in the console and set it up that way. In the command line, run the command node index, and it should tell you that the server is listening at port 8080. We need to hook up our local host to Twilio. And to do that, we need to create a tunnel from our local host to a publicly available URL that Twilio can access. And I'm gonna do this with a tool called Ngrok. It's really cool. 
When you have ngrok installed, in a new terminal window, you can run the command ngrok http 8080, and that will set up your tunnel. Make sure you grab the URL and keep it in your clipboard because we're going to use it in a second. In yet another terminal, run this command to buy a Twilio phone number. Now I've bought a mobile number with the country code GB because that's where I live, but feel free to buy a number that is close to you. Next, run this command to point the voice URL to your Ngrok URL whenever somebody calls that phone number that you've just bought. Time to test it out. I'm going to give my phone number a ring and see what happens. And hopefully we should see it say receiving media down in the console. We can see in the console all the messages that Twilio is sending and the loads of media packets. It is a live stream, so that's what we'd expect. Great, we've got that working. But now we need to send those media packets over to Google and get them to transcribe it and send us back the text. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up a new Google project so that we can get some credentials. Setting up the Google Cloud SDK is a bit different on different OSs. So I've dropped a link in the description below that should help you get set up. Now, once you do that, just create a new project and enable the speech to text API on it. You should be able to download your keys and credentials as a JSON file. Grab this JSON file and stick it into your project folder. Run the following command to install the Google Cloud speech to text client libraries. Now let's use it in our code. First, we'll include the speech client from the Google speech to text library, and then we will configure a transcription request. Now this has a couple of details, but most important is obviously the language code, which I have set to English in Great Britain. And you also need to set interim results to true in order to get live transcriptions results rather than one batch transcription at the end. Now we can set up our recognized stream. When a call is connected, we can set up our Google client to create a stream to the Google speech text API. Now we'll also add an event for when data comes back and we'll just console log this data. Now you may notice that their results and alternatives are arrays. This is because we can ask Google if we wanted to, to give us multiple alternatives, which are in order of the most likely transcript to have been read. And then whenever we have media packets coming from Twilio, we want to write those to our recognized stream, sending them off to Google. And last but not least, we also need to destroy our recognized stream if the call has ended. Now we're ready to test it out. I'm going to go over and give my Twilio number a ring. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hopefully this works. Now I never need to scramble for a pen when taking notes on a call. Remember, now that we have the text, we can pretty much do anything we want with it. If you have any ideas, maybe you want me to build it, definitely hit me up. Or if you've got any questions or just want to show me what you built, hit me up on Twitter at ChatterboxCoder. Now I'll be releasing another video next week showing you more awesome stuff you can build. Make sure you like and subscribe to be notified when my next video drops. Now hasta la vista. I can't wait to see what you build.